Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and today I want to take a look at one of my favorite new features in Adobe Premiere Pro CS6, and it's Hover Scrub. This is the ability to go ahead and browse and look at clips. Now, some of you out there are saying, oh, Final Cut Pro 10 had that first. Both programs were in development, and this is a feature that both companies came up with at the same time. It's super cool, very useful, and if you like it in Final Cut 10, you'll love it in Premiere Pro. They're very similar in functionality. Here's how it works. If I'm in my media browser here, I'm just going to mouse over and press the Grov key, which is the one right next to the number one. If you're using an international keyboard, this might be mapped to a new window, but it's just the Maximize Frame button. And this brings things up. Notice, too, that we have the ability to just drag here and quickly resize those thumbnails, making it very easy to see my content. Now, as I'm shooting and getting my footage on the card, a lot of times you don't have the ability to slate and you're not sure what's happening in a scene. Is this a static shot or a pan shot? And notice that I could just go ahead and drag across that clip and see the contents of the shot, like the fact that the sun is moving across the rocks here, or that you know this camera stays stationary, but the flower is blowing in the wind. So it gives me an idea of what the content of each shot is before I ever even import it into my project. And knowing this makes it a lot easier to decide what material you're actually going to ingest. Now, as you start to make selections here, it's really easy. If you mouse over a shot and you decide you like it, you can just right click and say import. And it's going to add that to the project. That was my import time for the clip, nice and fast. Pretty simple shot there. I like this. We've got some activity, so I'll just import that clip. And you see how easy it is good traffic there, lots of motion in the shot with a good stable shot, I'll add it. And as I go through here, it's very easy to choose the clips I want. And I know exactly what the content of that shot is without ever having to import it. So there we go. And I really like this sort of workflow. Now, as you look at that, you might be wondering, well, what's happening? That import is just adding it to the project. So when I put this window back, and I go back to my project tab, there it is, you'll see all the clips. If I had opened up a bin first and had targeted that, it would have put them in the bin. So this is super easy. Now, you could of course view this in list view if you want, and that's fine, but I generally prefer the larger icon view, making it easier to see my clips. And notice, there's that slider, so you could adjust the size inside the project panel as well. A lot of folks find this super easy to work, and as you're mousing over a clip, you can go ahead and take advantage of things. There's my clip, and I hit I, it marked the in point. Let's take a look here. I'm mousing over. There's my in point, and you see it marked it for the clip. So what's happening is, is as you drag from the left to the right, it's going from the beginning of the clip to the end of the clip. So if it's a really long clip, as you drag, it'll move very slowly and pull through the frames. So there we go. I like that as a starting point. I for in and O for out. And look, I marked ins and outs on my clip and chose what frames I'm going to use without ever having to load it into the source monitor. Plus, if you know your keyboard shortcuts here, you've got insert and overwrite. I could just edit right from the bin and start adding clips into my timeline. So this is super easy and really speeds up the editorial process. Now if you're not seeing Hover Scrub, don't worry. Just click on the sub-panel menu there and make sure it's turned on. The shortcut is Shift H. Same thing here over in the media browser. If you don't see Hover Scrub, just go in and turn it on. No shortcut here because it's a different command, but same idea. Just choose it from the panel menu. I think you're going to absolutely love using Hover Scrub. It's a very intuitive way to find your clips, mark in and out points, and to just jump in there and start to play with your footage. I find this is so much faster than having to load clip after clip. I can just browse my bins and interact with my content, and this works really, really well. My name is Rich Harrington. Thanks for joining us.